Today, my name is Professor Avi Ben Tzvi. I am the head of the new executive program in negotiations and decision making in international relations at the University of Haifa. And facing me is an old friend and colleague, Professor Amatia Baram, who is the director of the Center of Iraq Studies at the University of Haifa. Well, a year had transpired since Barack Obama was elected as the US president. And this is an appropriate moment, therefore, to conduct a mid, to have an interim assessment of his performance, particularly in the context of the Middle East. And uh, we shall have the, the interim assessment in the form of a simulation game. And now I will play the role of uh, Barack Obama. And facing me now is, for a change, Osama bin Laden himself. Please. Good day, Mr. President. Well, good day, although we are not negotiate, negotiating with terrorists, but I'm willing to negotiate with everyone without preconditions. This is my philosophy. This is my policy. Go ahead. I think it's a very good policy. I congratulate you. Uh, I, want you to I want to tell you, sir, that I'm sitting now in my little cave in the mountains of Pakistan. Smaller actually, or larger than Saddam Hussein's cave? Oh, it's actually quite a large cave, and it has all the amenities, and I'm, I'm, I have everything I need. Although it's a bit boring, but still, it's not so bad. But I think I can celebrate my first victory, major victory, over you. Uh, uh, and the man who brought me these wonderful news, uh, his name is Nidal Malik Hassan, a major in the American armed forces. Uh, the fact that he managed single-handedly to, uh, to kill almost a platoon of American soldiers uh, 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 in the heart of America. Is, is, this is a great victory for me. I'll just say that even though I deny any direct connection, contacts with him, my ideas, my charisma, my, my, my humanitarian inspiration uh, uh, permeated through the mountains, through the cave, through the world, through half the globe. And look at what happens. I'm yes, winning the battle already. Yes, but the point is you simply exacerbate and uh, aggravate my domestic predicament because all my initial philosophy was to reach out to Islam and to try to work with modern Islam and, and to try and, and integrate Islam uh, both domestically and uh, across the globe into a framework of conciliation, reconciliation and moderation. And look what has happened. I'm reading a public opinion surveys all the time, and on the eve of this onslaught, on this murderous attack, uh, almost 50% of, 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 of a sample, representative sample of American public opinion, resented uh, Islam and pointed out that Americans uh, who are, um, whose origin is in the Middle East are less patriotic. They even supported some, uh, some restrictions in terms of uh, granting uh, uh, rights and, uh, and immigration. So this would, I would say, uh, bring to the fore the old trauma of 9-11. And not to mention the link between Hassan N and the Al-Qaeda uh, preacher who actually was in touch with two of the 9-11 uh, terrorists. So, forces me to perhaps even change my priorities and my agenda. And, and I don't know if this is your intention, but if you want to live in a world in which Islam would be uh, regarded or approached with utmost uh, uh, seriousness and, uh, and respect, this would be, is bound to be counterproductive. Would you I'll like be, to return to the Bush era? Mr. President. Of confrontation? I, I will be very open with you. Um, I have a plan and I have demands, and I have a vision. My demands are that, first of all, all American forces everywhere in the Muslim world will be uh, rolled back home. I don't want you to be in Qatar. I don't want to go, or as you call them, in Qatar. I don't want to be in Bahrain. I don't want to be in Saudi. I don't want to be in Iraq. I don't want you to be in Kuwait. I don't want you to be in Israel in Palestine, in Egypt. I don't want you anywhere. But we are already that, wait, in, in the Mr. process President, of this disengagement. Is, this we are already is, disengaging. This, you are not disengaging. From, from Iraq, Gulf. from Iraq. Mr. President, and you I'm are going to... And I'm still hesitating about Afghanistan. If, if, and when, if and when you disengage from Iraq, you will still be in the Gulf, in the Persian yes, Gulf, in, in the Soviet Gulf. In Afghanistan, Arab Gulf. I'm resisting all the, the, way. the pressure of the military 
to a to to send you reinforcement f- 40,000 troops to Afghanistan I have no problem Afghanistan. with you as a person but as a president that you yes force you me should to become recalcitrant to become Mr. defiant Mr. to wage a new war against Islam to return Mr. to the Mr. legacy Mr. of president, Bush my of fighting first, Islam this Mr. is not my agenda Mr. Mr. President my first demand is evacuate all your forces from all the Middle East at once this is Waste unacceptable a minute. that's only one number two become a Muslim you have to become a Muslim and I'll tell you what I have an idea you are all for a dialogue right yes, but Wait if a minute. you cannot Wait perceive, perceive, I suggest perceive. Mr. President let me talk this is a dialogue why don't you invite me from my cave I told you I'm a little bored there it's, it's quite a boring place after all uh, invite me for a lecture tour a lecture tour all over America if you are so secure yes. in your Christianity in yes. your American values in your constitution yes. you like me great, let me come into America and give a an amazing tour uh, uh, you know a, a lecture tour no free of charge would you and like you'll see that America will become Islamic would you like me to be another Kennedy I don't intend to be assassinated and you want to deprive me to To erode the measure of public support which I have across the US but let's move for a second to the Iranian front uh, front and here too I am trying to pursue an accommodative posture I am trying to pursue a posture of engagement now I'm I'm Ahmed in a job to reach out to Iran and even in this area particular area you force me to return to a Bush philosophy namely not to engage with but to confront because what had transpired since the conclusion of the tentative draft of the Vienna Accord is simply, simply a shamble. I'm suspecting that actually you, Mr. Ahmadinejad, is, um, is misleading me because you accepted in principle the notion of the, of the agreement and now all of a sudden there are obstacles, there, are, there is procrastination. How can I establish a viable environment? How can I pursue the diplomatic option When you are basically uh, treating me as a, as a naive okay mr. president I understand your dilemma and I, I, I share I share with you the concern for the, the a peaceful Middle East but here is my problem my nuclear initiative is of huge importance a for Iranian national power Honor. But we do not Iranian actually prevent you from enriching. Iranian national honor from enriching. comes first. We just want you to Second enrich all, it abroad. To an extent, by control. the way, to an extent also to Iranian national security. But first of all, honor. When you demand of me, made all, make all these demands which are unacceptable to Iranians because we are people with honor, you p- impose on me something I cannot accept. But you force however, me. However, I'll tell you there is a way out of it. I suggest, because you are a great... Uh, proponent of dialogue thank you I suggest to continue the dialogue we are very good how at long dialogue. how long what about uh, Congress I, what listen, about the French the German and Mr. President what about until we resolve the problem the French and the Germans will do exactly I will what have to resort do. reluctantly to more comprehensive sanctions oh, no, because no, no, I'm no, constrained no. but if you do that if like, time is sa- running you mean out e- economic sanctions and you, our time is running out will, too by the way you will be punishing the Iranian people and And they will those of them who hate you hate you anyway those of them who don't hate you will start hating you then this so sanctions against us make no sense no 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 dialogue 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 and as long as it takes that's how it should be done okay thanks very much time is running out also for us looking forward for another dialogue next time thanks very much for watching and good night <laughs>